let's see the result of adding these cache rules. So if we go back to the analytics tab, if we go back to the dashboard tab, we see that now we get a much higher cache hit rate. Our improvement for our queries per second has increased by about 20% for a very small amount of memory used. So the general idea is go through the Analyze tab for Analytics, get suggestions for the amount of query savings you can have by doing caching, add a cache rule that you want, So in this case, I'm going to add a rule that will cache a considerable amount of the select queries that may be encountered, and then I will commit that rule. When I go back to the dashboard, I'm going to see that I will have cached many more queries than I did previously, and my performance is going to go up significantly. So I can see by caching a significant more amount of queries that I can based on suggestions from the analytics tab. In this case I get a five-fold increase in performance. The other thing that you can do in Heimdall data is you can analyze the logs and understand more detail on the queries that are being executed, the time, all the way down to result set methods. So the Heimdall data console gives you visibility, gives you analytics to understand where your slow queries are, queries that you can be potentially cached with suggestions, and the ability to add rules dynamically to cache those queries to get better performance. This has been an introduction to using the Heimdall Data Console.